my name is Simon and today we're talking about superhero science. SS. Superhero science? What in the world do superheroes have to do with science? Oh, it's usually just with their origin story. What's an origin story? How they became superheroes. Can you explain? Just say um, Spider-Man, for example. He was been by a radioactive spider. What does that have to do with science? Radioactive. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What else? And villains can be caused by science, too. How can villains be caused by science? Well... They can, but they don't have one that they know of. But they can. Mm-hmm. That's and pretty cool. Do you have some superheroes you want to show us? Yeah. Can you show us the ones on your iPad? Yeah. Okay, you have to hold it up. Wolverine. Okay, hold it still. Why did you choose to show Wolverine? Because he's an angry cat man. <laughs> Is he your favorite? No. No? What's cool about Wolverine? What does he have? Um. Yeah. He has a cat car. No, no, a cat car. I couldn't hear you, Simon. Um. He has steel claws. He has blue steel claws. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Do you know how he got them? No. His origin story has a lot to do with science. We're going to have to do some research. Okay, next picture. Do you know it? Yeah, I do know it. Okay, who's this? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Not so friendly to villains. Not so friendly to the villains, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, what does Spider-Man have to do with science? The villain by radioactive spider, which I think everybody knows. Uh-huh. Well, maybe not everybody. I said I think. <laughs> What's the next superhero that you have to show us? Boot. Ooh, who's this guy? Superman. Yeah. What do you know about Superman? We know not... We um, what's Superman's favorite meal? What? Superman. <laughs> Good one. I like it. Of Superman, Superman. Yeah, it's a good one. What are some of Superman's abilities? To fly. To fly. Yeah. Um. To shoot laser beams out of his eyes. I couldn't understand. Um, to shoot laser beams out of his eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. And to impress girls. <laughs> That's true. That could be true as well. Okay, and you have one more to show. Ooh, who's Storm. this? Storm. Yeah. What do you know about Storm? That she can cause storms? Yep. She can manipulate the weather. And what happened when we tried to research Storm? Like, it was just the word Storm? Yeah. It just showed a bunch of lightning. <laughs> That's right. It was kind of funny. Um, so these are all superheroes who use science in some way um, for their powers. Now you've got some other cool ones over here as well. Can you show me what you brought out? Superman, Superman, Green Lanterns. Yeah. What about who's that big red one? Deadpool. Pardon me. Deadpool. 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 Oh my goodness! Why would you call him Deadpool? Because he's a piece of poo. <laughs> okay, as a villain. We have some hellos. Guess who's watching? Your cousin Lucy and Edward and Elisa and Chris, all the way from Ericsdale. And guess who else we have? I, I, just, I just call that place Eric. <laughs> and we also have some friends in Pian and Point, Morgan and Owen, to say a big hello to. I think that Connor's watching, and I think we even have some friends up in Churchill who are watching as well. Maybe Joseph. Maybe Joseph. All right, show me some of your other superheroes. Who are those little pups? Paw Patrol. Ooh, are Paw Patrol superheroes? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. You know who likes Paw Patrol? My sister. Yeah. Connor, Logan, and Iris 
all like Paw Patrol, and guess what? They're all watching too. Okay, hi. Um, so Paw Patrol are superheroes. What about this book set that you have? Harry Potter. Yeah. How is Harry Potter a superhero? Um, he's beat many um, villains or bad creatures that have tried to conquer or destroy Hogwarts. Hmm, very so Technically, true. he's a hero. Yeah, definitely. Okay. You've got some little Lego heroes up there. Some of them fell over, I think. Scientist from a Lego set that you can turn into a video game. Oh, let's see. Hold it still. Cool. I even have the set for it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Boop, boop, boop. Um, and you've got some Star Wars there. I watch Star Wars. Well, there's Chewbacca. Oh, yeah. Why, yeah. Um, who's that silver guy? Um, I forget his name. Is he a hero or a villain? Villain. A villain. I wonder what his superpower would be. Well, he's just a giant evil robot that usually just walks around smashing buildings. Oh, yeah. That's very evil. All right. And we also have a little green guy. Ninja Turtles. How are Ninja Turtles superheroes? Um, yeah, they're mutants. They kick butt. <laughs> they do kick butt. Um, and we have some pieces of something there. Dead Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, we just have some pieces of Iron Man, which is really cool because it's connected to something you created. But hang on, hang on. Before uh, we talk about what you created, um, we also have real life superheroes. What are some real Police. life? Fireman. Doctor, police, fireman. What about nurses? Yeah. I know someone that can fart out fire. What? I don't know if everyone heard you. Can you say that again? I know someone who can fart out fire. How is that even possible? Don't. <laughs> we won't judge biology. So we have a comment. Is the silver guy Ultron? And I think I think it is. You think it is? So um, folks, if you have any information on Ultron and what his powers are, you can let us know as well. You can send them our way. All right, Simon, it is time to show something that a lot of superheroes have, and that's gadgets. And gadgets are very common for superheroes, and they have a lot to do with science. So what did you create? I created an Iron Man son's fist. What's an Iron... Who, like what? Can you explain if that If Iron to me? Man had a son, this is what he would use. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A Pepsi can with lights. Okay, well, let's show us what you made. Pepsi can with... And tape and lights. Okay. And, and what's, what's on the inside? Nothing really. Well, there's another layer. Oh, yeah. Can, piece let's... of an empty toilet paper yeah empty toilet paper roll you've got elastics yeah you've got some laser lights let's see show us how it works can does this hurt your eyes yeah but it probably hurts people's eyes and what else does it do kick a butt how so Couple ammo. Mm-hmm. Couple ammo. Very cool. Couple ammo. Yeah, gadgets are a really important part of superhero life, so that's really cool that you did that. Batman is the most known for gadgets. Batman is the most known for gadgets. And guess what? Elisa just said Batman is the best. And uh, Connor thinks that uh, the silver guy is a transformer. We're not too sure. We don't know his name. Could be. That's a that's another good idea. Well. Okay, so guess what we have? Bye-bye, Clippy thing. Guess what we have? What? I have some superhero activities for you to try. Oh, wait, Mom. Yeah. Are you starting to not let me know what the activities are on each Simon the Scientist? Well, this time I did not let you know what they are because I want you to be surprised and to try these out. Well, you did it once before. We did it once before. Yeah. Do you like that when I surprise you or would you rather know ahead of time? Um, I'm fine with 
mine either way. Okay, good. So the first activity, the first superhero activity that's very important is to test something with a ruler. So what we're going to test is your reaction time. And your reaction time is incredibly important when it comes to superheroes because superheroes have to think fast. Right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the ruler like, hang on, let me show you. You're going to hold the ruler like this right at the one or the zero, as low down as you can get, but right in the middle. And you're going to let it drop and see how long it takes you to catch it again. I'll show you one time. Ready? Yeah. Oh, and then you measure. And I got to 16 centimeters. Okay. Yeah, you try. See your superhero reaction time. Okay, so show us the ruler. Hold it up a bit so it doesn't hit the table. And when you drop it, hold your thumb there so we can measure what you got. Go for it. What? Show me. I got a four. No, you did not. Wait, I, wait, I got this. Okay, let's try it again. Mm -hmm. I'm way better than you. You're way better than me. <laughs> okay, so hold it up. Now remember, you have to let go completely and then close your hands again. You can't just slide it. Ready, and set, go. Oh, another good one. What did you get? I think I got a six. Six this time. Very good. Let's try it one last time and see your reaction okay, time. Okay, I'm going to 16. Wait, Mom. Yeah? Want to know what you actually got? What? You actually got a 116. A 116? Because look. One, one, six. Oh, I see. Okay, go for it. One more time. Ooh, what did you get? I got a four. I think in the middle of four and five. That's pretty amazing, especially for your first time. So how is reaction time related to superheroes? Reaction time is actually a YouTube channel thingy name. Is thing. it? Yeah. And what do they talk about? Yeah, they react to videos. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is super strength. Which type of superheroes have super strength? Do you know any? Hulk, Superman. Hulk and Superman? Yeah. Any else? Anybody else? I think I know. Yeah. Can it be super villains and superheroes? Yeah, you bet. Who has super strength? Venom. Ooh. What do you know about Venom? And whenever um he's sort of changed into a good guy, not really. He's still sort of a good guy, not really. Oh, okay. But he's very strong? Yeah. Cool. Um, so there's something else here that has super strength, but before we get to that, I have a question for everybody who's watching. What is your favorite superhero? Or who, I should say. Who is your favorite superhero? Mom. Yeah. Oh, your mom is? I managed to do this. Okay. So I want to look at this because there's something else that has super strength, not just superheroes. Eggs. Eggs. So don't touch where those are. What I did was I cracked four eggs. Or, or just two. Well, actually I cracked three because I had to get the halves to to uh, be pretty even. If I was really good, I would have only cracked two eggs. Um, Jaylene has a favorite superhero. Guess who it is? Who? Do you have a guess? No. Not even one guess for Jaylene's favorite superhero? No. That is Wonder Woman. Oh, wait, here's a joke. Okay. Um, Why do people call Wonder Woman that name? Why? Because she always wonders where Invisible Jet is. Oh, funny. Uh, Morgan's favorite superhero is Loki, and Owen's is Spider-Man. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that is good, because you have the Spider-Man shirt on. And we also have Lucas and Matas are watching for the first time. Hi. And uh, Elisa says that the favorites in their place are... Wonder Woman and Batman. Batman. <laughs> yeah. So let's get back to super strength. Ooh, Simon's favorite is Dead. Uh, sorry, Connor's favorite is Deadpool. Okay. Yeah. 
So we're going to have a look at our super strength again, and let's see what these eggs can hold. How much weight do you think they can hold? I think they can hold a lot. A lot? Oh, don't touch where they are, though. Yeah. So I'm going to start with one of your favorite books, and it's your gadgets book, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to put it and balance it just on top of those four eggshells. And you can, I can't turn my phone, so I'm going to try to get down low. One has a crack. Yeah, they do. And those eggshells are sitting right there, and they're doing pretty well. Okay, so I want you to see if you can put on another book. This is another one of your favorite books. I broke my butt. Yeah. Oh, I understand because he's having the city. <laughs> yeah. We're down. Oh, so now it's holding the weight of two books. Can I put on the books this time? You can put on the books. I will pass them to you. I think I, I, I want to do that one last. <laughs> okay. It's the heaviest, I bet. Oh, look. Those eggs, how are they doing? They're doing good. One's just cracking. Only one. Only one? I think it's either the cracks were there at the start because, you know, you cracked them. Yeah. That's right, it was there at the start. Now we have another science book. Let's put that on and see what happens. Oh. Still okay. They're still okay? Yeah, four books. Four science books. So we have some comments that Logan's favorite is Deadpool. Lucas's favorite superhero is Spider-Man. And Matas is Batman and Iron Man. Okay, so we have some heavier books now. Well, this one's not that heavy. We'll start with this one, I guess. Which which book is that? Um, Astonishing Adams and Matter Mayhem. Okay, that on. Oh. How are those eggs? They're doing good. They're okay. just on one egg. There are only small cracks. Look at what's that book? Periodic table. Was yeah. Born with the flap. <gasps> Wait, how is this? I want to check all of the eggs. And check them all. How are they doing? Good. Yeah. That side good. This side good. Excellent. We have two more to put on. This is a very special book. Guess why? Why? Because oh, this is well, a. Um, you what? Can't, you can't do the thing. Wait. Um. Um. You said it was a very special book. Guess why? And they said, why? Why? <laughs> That's right. Or just delete, do, do, and just have a Y. Yeah, you could do that as well. Um, this is a special book. It was a gift, a science nerdy gift, which are my favorite. Why is this guy From that? Elisa and Chris and their family. This is, this is what four kids are saying. Why is the sky blue? Why do I have to sleep? Why do cows moo? Why does popcorn pop? <laughs> okay, put it on. Let's see if the the eggs can hold it. I heard a crack. Did you hear a crack? Yeah, I heard a crack. Was it a crack? Or oh, move your hand so I can see. Was it a crack? Yeah, I heard it. I did heard one it. collapse? No, one none did collapse. I'm gonna just turn it around here. Yeah, see mom. Cracks. One's cracking. Okay. So one's cracking, but no collapsing. We have one more book to put on. So we so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's oh, see what's hold. this one? This is it, the heaviest, biggest science book that we could and find. And it's one of my favorites. Yeah? No. All right. Let's see. Put it on nice and gentle. No collapses. Oh, did you see that? It didn't collapse. It didn't collapse. They sure did. No, not all. Well, how many? I see two collapsed for sure. Why don't you lift up the books and see how many collapsed? Okay. Oof. How many? Oh, two and a half collapsed. This one almost collapsed. These two did for sure. Congrats. That's the winning one. Congrats. <laughs> That's bad pretty boy, cool. Bad boy, bad um, boy. Not so bad boy. Yeah. So why do you think um, eggs are so strong? Calcium? Oh, yeah. yeah, could be. Could Calcium? be. Well, we'd have to find out what uh, the shells are made of, right? Okay. And then we'd be able to find out why they're so strong. That's some good research that we can do, is why are eggs eggshells so strong? Bad boy. Okay. So what does super strength have to do with superheroes? How they can defeat villains so easily? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to push this aside, and we have one more superhero activity for you. 
showing us some dance moves? No. Okay, come on up to the table. And it is with water. It is with water. Do you want to see what I have swimming, prepared for you? Swimming, swimming. Do you want to see what I have prepared for you? Swimming, swimming, swimming. Yeah, Ella is here for her Paw Patrol pups. Ella, would you like to say hi? No. You want those superheroes back. Ow. Okay, so here we go. We have a cup of water. Why did you hit me in the face, Ella? We have a cup of water here, and it is filled just about to the very, very top. Okay, so don't shake the table. I have another cup of water here, and I'm going to fill it the rest of the way, and we're going to be very very careful i think one drop ought to do it whoa look at that i think we should add a bit more no you know what we're gonna add like all the way up to the rind do you know what we're going to add what we are going to add we're going to see how many of these paper clips we can fit in drop it in really gentle oh one fit in so now it's time to make a prediction. How many of these paper clips can you fit in? Like around five. You think five? Yeah. Okay, let's try five. You have to be gentle. Take it slow. Just four. Four more. Four more. Slow and gentle. Okay. Four. Five. I think it's think it's Yeah, they fit in. What's happening to the surface of that water it's there? It's rising. It's rising. Connor predicts 10. We would like to know from our audience how many paper clips can fit in this cup of water before it spills out. Why can't we, why can't we just take it fast and then just dump it all? Dump no, it all, we got to go dump slow. Them all in. Okay, Logan predicts 6. That's number 6, six there. 7. 7. 8. Oh, okay, don't wiggle the table. Oh. 15, and what's happening? It's right at the edge. It's already right at the edge. Okay, so Morgan guessed 13, and Owen predicted 10. So anyone who's guessed under 15, you're going to have to guess again, because we've already got 15 in there. Okay. Okay, now hang on, hang on. I'll pass them to you. We don't want to knock oh. that water over. Oh. Let's see how many more we might get. 16, count with me. Go slow. 17. Slow. See how it's wiggling? We wait for it to, to pause. Bondi. Oh, Brady says 350. <laughs> we don't even have that much. We don't have that much. Well, let's see. That's What number was that again? 350. No, no, what number? 17. Okay. Think. This is 18. 18. Oh, I'm going to have to separate these carefully. Yeah, separate them carefully. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll just dump them both in. No, nope. pick a different one. 18, 19, slow. 19. 20. Oh, okay, give that water a moment to settle. We've got 20. <sighs> Keep those guesses coming in, everyone. You can change your guess as we go. Okay, 21. Don't knock the table. Whoa. Look, get down low to the table, Simon. Look okay. at this at eye level. Yeah, what do you notice? I notice that it's, um, here's something strange. So it's kind of like a little bit above. So it's like in a cylinder, but it's not spilling out on the sides. Why would that be? Gravity, maybe? Well, wow, let's keep going. Okay, what number was that? That was 20, that was 21. Okay, 22. Two. <laughs> oh, I knocked the plate. Oh, it didn't spill over. My oh, fault. <gasps> not really your fault because nothing happened. Okay, 23. wonder if we could fill up the whole cup. I wonder. No. Are you scared? Yeah. 24. Four. 25. Wait for the water. Look at that. Wait for the water to chill. Yeah, it's good now. Six. 26. 27. These things aren't that strong. 
for kind of there. Oh, put it in gentle. Don't drop it like that. Put it in gentle. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Look at that. Um, um, you know the three hundred and four. Guess. Yeah. I think it was meant to be thirty-four. Oh, maybe. Okay. Keep going. What one's that? That was 36, I think. I think where you've lost count. I think that was either 29 or 30. Let's count it as 29. No. We're, we were already on the 30s. What? Yeah, we were. We're going to have to rewind this video and find out. Okay, let's put in the rest. Let's see. So if you at home have kept count, we only have two left. Oh, no, we have three left. So go for it, Simon. Let's see if we, we can get at, the last three we in were here. At 36. 37? I don't think we're at 36. Yeah. Yeah, we were at 36. Okay, we'll find out. 36. Oh, no, that was 38. 30. And our last one. 39. Whoa. Okay, so Simon, look at that water again at eye level. What's happening? <gasps> it's right at the surface. It's actually rising up. Like, like a bit is actually, like, above this part. Yeah. But it's still in the cup. Okay. So we have run out of paper clips. They, we have fit all of our paper clips in here, but we are not finishing this on purpose because this is our challenge for today. Our challenge for today, Simon, do you remember what it is? Yeah. What? A mega superhero gadget and, um, and, and, oh wait. And, um, wait, a challenge is complete a super hero science activity, whatever you want. Okay, so we had four activities that we showed you. So the four activities we showed you were the gadget that Simon created. This? We showed you reaction time with the ruler. I want to do this again. So we showed you the strength of eggs. Mom, I did it. I did it on two. Cool. And we showed you the manipulation of an element. In this case, we're manipulating water. Okay. Do you know which superhero manipulates water? Aquaman. That's right. That's Aquaman. He's my favorite superhero. I know why. Why? Because he controls the blue sea. Hmm. Yeah, he does control the sea. I have other favorite reasons. I, um, I know. I know. I'm a pirate. I'm a smart pirate. Arr, shiver me timbers. <laughs> nice. Sh All right, so we have a question. Ruler. We have a question from the audience. Does it make a difference if you use just the plain paper clips? Plain paper clips are even better. So if you find, like these ones were large, if you find just the regular plain old silver paper clips, we want to know um, how many you can fit in your very full cup of water. So your challenge today and we want you to post results of either a gadget, your reaction time, strength of eggs, water manipulation, and see what happens there, um, or any other superhero science activity you can think of. And with that, I think we're done. Bye. Bye. And maybe have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. We'll see you Monday morning.